वेलकम टू रियल सिविल यूट्यूब चैनल मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी आर नॉट श्योर अबाउट आवर रिजल्ट इन द सॉफ्टवेयर सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर वन ट्रिक हाउ टू चेक ए टैप मॉडल और एनी सॉफ्टवेयर स्ट्रक्चरल मॉडलिंग एंड हाउ टू गेट एनश्योर एंड कॉन्फिडेंट ओके here you can see this is your plan on right hand side there is a 3d model okay now i will tell you very simple trick how to check the result or validate the results for that what we will do is uh, this is our plan okay i just uh, uh, give you some detail that we have to focus on this particular portion only you can consider any portion in your uh, structure okay now if you see here the span is 7.5 meter again this span is also 7.5 meter another thing you can notice is this is a this sign is of one way sign one way slab one way slab another thing that i want you to notice is if i give the name b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 and b6 so here b2 and b3 are secondary beams right they are not resting on the column but they are resting on the beams okay so we know that generally our secondary beams are simply supported they are simply supported now i will tell you how to verify the results okay now we will verify the result for this particular beam that is b2 so first we will calculate how much udl is going to come on this beam on this beam how much udl is going to come okay so as this is the one way slab means half of the load from this slab and half of the load from this slab will be on the beam okay now i have applied 4 kN per meter square on each slab so how much udl will be there on this beam we know that 4 is the intensity multiply by this much portion is going to distribute the load on that beam okay as you can see total distance is 7.5 and it is divided into three parts i will just clear for a second so that you can focus so as i told you this is 7.5 meter and it is divided into three parts so each of this portion is of 2.5 meter this is 2.5 meter and again this is 2.5 meter so load on the beam will be up to this okay that portion will be that portion of the slab or load will be taken by this beam so as i told you 4 kN into this total will be 2.5 half and this is 2.5 half that means 2.5 so that will be 10 kN per meter okay so what will be the shear force here we know the formula of shear force that is if udl is acting then wl by 2 and wl by 2 so here you can see w is 10 into 
if you see the span this span is 7.5 meter here also you can see so into 7.5 wl divided by 2 so that means 75 divided by 2 you will get 37.5 kilo newton okay so shear force diagram will be somewhat like this 37.5 37.5 so let's see in e tab yes so this is the same beam here you can see 10 kilo newton per meter this is the shear force here you can see 37.5 okay Similarly, you can also calculate the movement. We know that simply supported beam will be WL square by 8. So your W is 4 multiplied by 7 point, sorry, 2 point 5 bracket square divided by, uh, sorry, sorry, here span is 7.5. So so 4 into 7.5 square divided by 8. So this answer will be coming around 70 or maybe 71. So here you can see our movement. So this is how you have to check your ETAB results. I will directly take you to the model. So just a minute, I will show you once again here. So that was the beam. Here you can see uh, live load. I have given four kilo newton per meter square. Hence, I have selected live load here. And other thing you can check here. UDL is same here. Thirty-seven point five seventy is the movement. So this is how. You can check your ETAB results and you can be very sure about your modeling and analysis. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. If you have any doubts, you can comment me. I will surely reply.